stop losses are a very important part of any trading strategy. Uh, they tell you about when enough is enough and to cut your losses. Uh, I've got a whole video on stop losses and how to use them here or in the description of this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to programmatically institute a stop loss. This code is going to be added to the code that we went over in part three of creating your own cryptocurrency bot video. If you want to know how we got to all the code in part three um, for that series, I encourage you to watch part one and two in order to get a really deep dive into the concepts. However, honestly, they're not necessary. If you just want to get up and running, just watch part three, and then you'll be ready for this video. All right, here we go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add a stop loss to our trades um, to protect our money. Uh, this is actually pretty straightforward. This is going to be a pretty short video. Um, basically, what I'm doing is when we're instantiating the trades, I'm passing in a um, hard-coded stop loss of 0 0.0001. Now, that's specific to this chart. That's going to be different for every chart. Um, what we'll eventually do is expand this to say, have the stop loss be some rational calculation of risk versus reward and the amount of balance we currently have into our account um, and the volume of the chart and things like that but just to get this up in place so we have some sort of stop loss there we're just going to go ahead and hard code this number um, so then all we have to do is update this bot trade object um, basically added a default so uh, if you don't pass in a value back here on stop loss, if you don't have that value, it just defaults to no stop loss. But if this is set to something, then it go ahead, goes ahead and calculates the stop loss from the current price. So it'll be current price minus 0 0.0001. Then um, one addition we made is that we added a tick to the bot trade object so that every tick, the open existing trades, um, get updated for things like checking if it's hitting the stop loss. So in order to do that, we added a function called self.updateOpenTrades. And all OpenTrades does is it loops through all the trades, checks for the open ones, and then calls their built-in tick function. So for this one, all the tick does, um, since the only thing we need to do in the tick is check if it's hit the stop loss, is if a stop loss was set, which in our case it was, um, it checks to see if the current price, uh, which was passed in with the tick, is less than what our calculated stop loss was. So if it's less than the original purchasing price minus 0 0.0001, that means we've gone below the stop loss, and we go ahead and close out this trade for safety. It's really that simple. Once again, in future videos, we'll expand on this, um, create options like a trailing stop loss, make a the uh, amount of the stop loss automatically calculated based on what our strategy is and things like that. But for now, we have a stop loss there. It somewhat protects us. Let's go ahead and take a view at whether or not it runs. And as expected, yeah, it works great. So go ahead and play around with that. Um, let me know if you have any questions or anything like that in the comments. And thanks a lot for all your patience for these bot videos, guys. I have a whole lot more coming out in the next week. All right, thanks. Bye.